Goed. Goed, goed. Goed, goed. Hey, Tasman, why are you looking at us like that right now? Hmm, no reason. I'm just thinking about who I'm going to eat first. <laughs> what do you mean, eat first? <laughs> oh, my goodness. You should have seen yourselves. You were so petrified. <laughs> so, does that mean that you're not going to eat us? Who needs a bag of bones like you? Hey, look, land ho! Hoot hoot. Huh? Hoot hoot. Hoot hoot. The Paints of Africa. Interesting. What exactly is this place? That's why we're doing reconnaissance, Tig, to figure that out. I was just wondering. We always end up running into some really strange looking locals. Animals that have beaks, ugh, ugh, and birds. Some who fly and some who don't. So I wonder who we'll run into here. Maybe uh, some kind of five-winged duck-billed creature. You're a duck-billed creature, Tig. Hey, do you see these normal looking hoof prints? It must be some kind of deer. Let's go and meet them. <laughs> Enough fooling around. Go out there and find us something to eat. Ooh. Okay, fine. But what are you gonna do? I guess I'll keep an eye on Philin. Uh, and keep your eyes peeled. Figure out where stripes and spots have landed. A deer, you said. Ha! Look there. Spots just like yours. Maybe he's a strange leopard. Oh, <laughs> we have guests, Zako. Yeah, we have guests, man. I am pleased to meet you. Man. I am Jiro, and I'm not a leopard. I'm a giraffe. Man. This here is Zako, <laughs> and he's a pet. We have guests, man. Nice to meet you. I'm Leo, and this is Tig and Kuba. What are you drawing up on that wall over there? That's such a big picture. We're not drawing. We're writing. You could say we're artists. We're artists. We're artists. We're writing. Zuffle. We're writing, 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 this writing, This picture writing. is called Sunrise in Africa. Ah, yes. Writing, writing, <laughs> writing, writing. It isn't finished just yet. I hope that we're going to have enough paint in order to finish it. To finish it. Enough paint. Magical paint. Magical paint. Magical uh, paint. Zako uh, is asking. If you are familiar uh -oh. with the legend uh -oh. of the magical paint. Mm. We know a lot of legends, but that one is new to us. Oh, well then, come and sit down with us. Zako and I were about to take a break anyway. And now for Zako! <gasps> Did you draw all those as well? We write, we write, we I write! Mean, did you write that? No, no. These are ancient drawings. Allow me to tell you all about the legend. A long time ago, when Africa was still quite young, a wildfire spread from coast to coast and turned this colorful land into a gray and scorched wasteland. It was a sad, sad time. Everything everywhere became bleak, all shades of gray. And then the spirit of the savannah gathered up the last of its strength and created a most magical paint. The animals painted our Africa once again, and nature came back to life. And that is the legend of the magical paint. So if these paints bring nature to life, if we draw ourselves some food, then we'll be able to feast to our heart's content. Hey, but then why didn't the painting come to life? Listen, do you have fur in your ears? The giraffe even said that his painting isn't even finished yet. Come on, before somebody sees us. Before someone sees, before someone sees. Milky, but why are you repeating what I just said? Did you hit your head or something, man? That wasn't me. Brad, that wasn't me. That wasn't me. <laughs> Not me. Oh, that means it's probably the magical paint talking to us. Magical paint talking, magical paint talking, talking. What? But that can't, can't be. Can't be, can't be. Hey, Spike, let's get out of here while we're still in one piece. Still in one piece. 
but I think well, I might have heard things. that voice somewhere today already. I recognize right, it. Right, and oh. right, and right, and Aha! right. So burr, someone burr, was trying burr, to scare burr, us. Burr, 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 burr. Gotcha, chatterbox. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Hey, Milky, get the paints. What happened, Zako? Get the paint, Milky! Get the paint! Milky! Milky! The mountains! <laughs> Those creatures took off with all of our paint! Took off with their paint! The magical paint! <laughs> we'll get your paint back for you! <laughs> hey! Come back! <laughs> you only think of yourselves! Come on! Give back the paint! I'm telling you! <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to catch us first! Hey! Get back! <laughs> Come to life. <laughs> and then Tasman will be able to eat it. You first. <laughs> Tasman doesn't want to break a tooth. One, two, three. Create the apple for me. It's nothing but regular paint. But, but it can't be. This, this is magical paint. Uh, I don't understand what happened. Spike, uh, maybe we need to say some magic words or something. Abracadabra! What is wrong with you, Milky? <laughs> you really are nuts! Uh, the legend mentioned the spirit of the Savannah. Maybe we gotta ask it for help. What do we do now, Leo? Well, we have to bring back the magic paint. Uh-huh. But where do we even look for it? Good job, Kuba! You found some tracks! Oh! Spirit of Savannah! Please! Bring this apple to life for us so that we may snack upon it! Oh, that must be it. The spirit of the Savannah. Thank you for coming to us. Oh. Hey, the spirit looks just like cool by, don't you think? Give us back the magical paint right now. Uh, we need it for ourselves. After all, we just painted an apple, as you can clearly see. Tasman, but what if it's a... However, Tasman will gladly exchange these very magical paints for any supplies you may have to offer. I'll exchange you, you thief! Give us that paint! I'll only exchange them for food! <laughs> Let's get out of here! <laughs> you... You won't be able to finish the painting. We tried, but we couldn't save the magical paints. The magical paints? But those paints weren't the magical paints. Magical paints! Wait, they weren't? Weren't magical paints! Rah! You mean you really thought that they were the magical paints from the legend? You mean they weren't? But of course not. That's nothing but a fairy tale. Fairy tale! Although it is true that we can't finish the painting now, we'll have to find a solution soon. <laughs> we can make new paints. In fact, you can help us. It's quite easy. All we need is just a little bit of imagination and a touch of inspiration and the most magical colors of Africa.
I think that we made some real magical paints after all. That's right. The magical paint of Africa. Magical yeah. Paint. Magical paint of Africa. Zarko. Huh? We write, we write, we write. We should just turn back. I'm afraid that we won't make it. Land! Land! Uh, I can't seem to turn it. I've got an idea. Tig, move away the uh, way. But just move it out of the way. Uh-huh. I'm moving it away. All right, everyone, starboard. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, hooray! Uh, we did it, guys! Yay! Yay! Ice ball. I think we're really lost now. Uh, can you imagine spending the whole winter here? Uh. <gasps> Who are you? And what are you doing here? We are friends of Lily the monkey. We're helping her find her way back home. And we are the Voguing Penguins. From, from the, the house, house of, of Wind Bingo. Bingo. And I am Stella, the house mother. And this is Hernando and Creon. Are they your children? <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we just, just really, really like, like to vogue. vogue. It's, it's such, such a, a fabulous, fabulous dance. dance. We're going to the ice ball. It's going to be held in Queen Maud Land. I can see that you've run into a slight <coughs> issue. Ooh, la la. No way. This isn't just a little issue. No way. This is a big problem. Not at all. House of Gwynpingo is famous not only for its style, but for its hospitality as well. Uh, uh, but what about the ball? Stella, we can't be late. Hernando! I'm surprised at you. Leaving our guests to suffer on our island? Oh my, that just isn't right. Wait for us here. I think that I might know what to do. Hoot, hoot, hoot. Hoot, hoot. <laughs> Finally, land. <laughs> it's just so, 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 so much colder than, than the ocean. Stop whining. We'll warm up soon enough. Oh, well. Ah, very interesting. Follow me. We really need to think about how to get our ship out of here. Or at least find out how to warm up. You see that? Something shining. Let's get a closer look. Take a look at that. What if we break off a couple of them to use? They could be like levers for the ship. When you work, you'll warm up right away. One, two, and push! You hear that? The snow is cracking! Hey! Get our ship out soon enough! Hey! I don't think that's the snow cracking! Well, what exactly is your brilliant idea? Look! The lava from the volcano is still warm. We need to take some of the warm rocks and lay them all around that wooden bird. <gasps> Ooh la la, that's great. The snow and ice will melt and it can fly away from here. Uh, just one problem, Stella. Uh, how do we get the rocks back down there? <gasps> Ooh, look, villain. Aren't we lucky we just happened upon these hot rocks? What do you mean? Tell me, 
Who exactly are you? I'm a friend of your guests. Uh, we were flying behind them, but then we landed. <sighs> uh, we saw that they were in trouble and that they needed help. They said that you guys also want to help them out. Well then, let's help them together. <laughs> what a great idea! <laughs> together! It's more fun! <laughs> Yeah! Uh, faster, faster, faster! You two are penguins, not snails! Just look at him! That Tasman is a real commander! Uh huh. A commander who's willing to burn our nest to a total crisp. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You're such trusting penguins! These hot stones are actually for us, not them! So we don't play your guests! Silly spots and silly stripes! Figure it out! They can fend for themselves! <laughs> Let them sit in the snow! <laughs> <sighs> Great! No one deceives the house of Gwyn Pingo and gets away with it. I know exactly how to beat them. Hernando, Creon, follow me. Let's give them the totem pole. Is anyone still doubting my magnificent leadership skills? Huh? Oh. Oh. That's them! Oh. 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 Aha! You liars! You won't get away from the house of Win Pingo! Hernando, Creon, Totem Pole! Oh. <laughs> 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 These losers are all friends now? Why am I not surprised? Why am I not Surprise! Us? <laughs> We're not losers! We'll show you! Everyone together! Desmond, I think you might have ended up stealing too many rocks here. <laughs> Hold on tight! Hold the nest! Hold the nest! Ah! Whoa! Ah! Well, I didn't know holding the nest was so hard for you. Hey, how about you just jump off? Then you can show those losers your leadership skills. Well, I'm sure warm now. <laughs> Thanks for your help, friends. <sighs> That was amazing! Yeah, and yeah, it stylish. was. <laughs> we have to think up a new dance to honor our victory. <laughs> yeah. Hey, guys, <laughs> do you want us to fly you to the ball on our ship here? Oh, that would be just lovely. I never arrived at a ball in a flying <laughs> ship. Perhaps you would like to learn how to dance the Vogue. It's, it's such, such a, a fabulous, fabulous dance. dance. Hernando. Hurry on. Wonderful idea. My friends, would you like to join the house of Gwyn Pingo? Of course you would! <laughs> then let's go, my friends. We'll show you the moves on the way there. The ice ball is over there in Green Maudland. And now, turn your attention to the voguing house of Gwyn! Bingo! Oh, I think the house of Gwyn Pingo beats everyone! No one has ever made such a grand entrance before! Such elegance has never been seen! Taboom! Boom, boom, boom! And on some beaks, paws and flippers, even feet. Whee! 
Stranger, you see, we've already met. We're very close. Mama! Where's your mommy? I would simply love to have you for lunch. I don't want any lunch. All I want is my mama. Aren't you the sweetest thing? How about I take you out a little further? That way, no one will hear you and your whining. Bright white. Don't worry. Kuba soon will fly away from here. And it will be much warmer. Someone help me! Over there! Someone seems to be in danger! Aren't you getting sick of yelling? Don't you realize no one can hear you scream out here? He desperately needs our help! <sighs> I'm tired. Time to eat something. Mama! Oh, no, no, oh! Jump to us! Quickly! <sighs> How dare you! Give me back my lunch! Hey, you kids! You up there! I'm going to teach you a lesson. <laughs> Whoa! Let's land! You're safe here! Hey, you up there! Bring me back my lunch! Hi, little buddy. I'm Leo. Tell us, what's your name? I'm back, and I want to go home. <laughs> to my mama. Little guy, where do you live? I don't know. I ended up getting lost. Don't <laughs> cry. We'll find your home for you. And your mama. And your mama. Thank you. Look down there. He looks exactly like Abak, but he's black and he's barking. <laughs> barking? He's looking for Abak, Tig. Let's go. <sighs> hey there. Were you looking for our little seal friend? Looking? I need some help. Can't you see? <sighs> I'm stuck here. Then we'll help you get out of there, buddy. One, two, pull it! <laughs> Careful! Don't tear my snout off! I'm really proud of it! Don't worry! You won't lose your snout! Maybe if we pull harder, we can... Ow, 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 ow! No! Ow, ow, ow! Thank you! Now we can introduce ourselves. My name is Stromai. I'm an elephant seal. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Leo the Leopard. These are my friends, Tig, Martik, Kuba, Yara, Mila, and Lily. And we recently ran into another elephant seal. His name is Apak. He's just lost and looking for his mother. He's not an elephant seal. He doesn't even have a snout. But I do. Do you see my snout? Only elephant seals have snouts like these ones. And I'm as black as the night. But Abak is bright white. 
elephant seal babies are always black, but white babies are sea calves. Uh, so that means a pack's a sea calf? Hmm, he's still white right now. Huh? But when he grows up, then he'll become a hard seal. It's all so complicated, but you look so much alike. <laughs> we look alike, but not that much. My mom once told me a story that long, long ago, some animals got tired of living on land and they decided to live in the ocean. Their legs and arms transformed and they became flippers. Those who began to make ice holes were then known as hard seals. And those who learned to dive much deeper and farther than the others suddenly grew long snouts. They were known as elephant seals. And the meanest, smartest ones of all were covered in spots and grew very sharp teeth and hunted other seals. They were known as sea leopards. I know where the seal rookery is. I can take you all there on the iceberg. Hey, you kids! Bring me back my lunch! How dare you! Oh, I'm not floating on that iceberg. We'll go on land then. Do you see that river? Follow it upwards to the source. Then you turn left, and finally you'll see the seal rookery. Aren't you coming along with us? No, sorry, but I'm much too clumsy on land. Okay, then Tig and I will take Apac, and you guys can guard the ship. But remember, do not go through the waterfall. There are sea leopards in there. I think we got lost somewhere. We're going and going, but it looks like we haven't found the source yet. <gasps> Over there! I bet she can help us. Hi there, Auntie Hardseal. Well, hello there, children. I'm Leo, and this is Tig, and that's Apac. And I'm Otney. Are you two out here? All by yourself? Yeah. We're helping our friend Apac get back home. To the rookery. Can you please tell us the best way to get there? Apac! Oh, they sent me out to look for you. The whole rookery is worried. However, your parents aren't there right now. What are you waiting for? Let's go. Apac's parents are waiting and so am I. Uh, are you a hard seal? You don't really look like my mama or papa. That's why my name is Motney. In our language, it means not quite like the others. Did you get that? Oh, yeah. But why do you have so many spots? <gasps> I got dirty when I was looking for you. But once we get to the rookery, I'll wash it off. And why do you have such... Such great big flippers, huh? Ah, my flippers? Well, you will have them too when you grow up. <laughs> Whoa! <sighs> That's the waterfall, huh? That's a dangerous place. <laughs> Why did you bring us over here? <laughs> hey! Why do you have such great big teeth? Uh, uh, my teeth? What, what big teeth? No. <laughs> I think that this heart seal isn't really a heart seal. You're right. And I have great big teeth because they're all the better to eat you with, you silly children. <laughs> She's really a sea leopard. Run away! Save yourselves! <laughs> Hurry! This way! But it's dark and scary!
Well, <laughs> oh, come now. I've delivered your little white ball of fluff, huh? Safe and sound. <sighs> Mama, I miss you both so much. Epic, don't crawl so far away next time. <laughs> I won't. Thank you so much. We could have lost our little son without you. Mama, Papa, could we take them back to their ship? Of course we can, son. And we'll take the safest way back. I promise that when I grow up and I'm a big and strong heart seal, that I'll swim to the taiga to visit you. Papa! <laughs> we'll be waiting! <laughs> <laughs> But where did he get to? Meeting with a Tasmanian. You, sir, have infringed on my territory. I have never heard anything more offensive in my entire life. You, sir, have infringed on my territory. So, dear. I think that there is only one way that we can settle this. Yes, with, with a, a duel. duel. <laughs> 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 oh, how fascinating. What an interesting aroma. Oh, it's amazing. It's almost like it's almost like a quan dog, but a little bit different. <sighs> Come over here. I found a new aroma. Ah, well, well. Yes, that's a fragrant ficus. All right, be quick, pack it up, don't be stingy. Ooh. Yeah! <laughs> Someone save me, please! Ah! Someone help! <laughs> Oot. Oot. My suit. Oot. Mice. Help! Mice. 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 What happened? Hey, where did the sun go? Oh, I can't take it. What a silly bird. Who's there? Let me out of here right now. Forget it. Like I've got nothing better to do. I prey on weak, young, and old, too. I love to waste time in dark dealings, creeping through the shadows. You've been warned. Better run away, or I'll leave you squealing. I have all sharp teeth. My temper's not long. If you are just like me, then that means you're strong. I love scaring kids right out their seats and watch how they all cry for their mommies. You can search the world and seven seas. More wicked than me, you'll find nobody. I have all sharp teeth. My temper's not long. If you are just like me, then that means you're strong. You're absolutely strong. <laughs> To. He must have flown off to eat something. Villain! Hello! If we let spots and stripes get away, then there's no way that we'll ever get our hands on that treasure. Did I just hear someone mention the word treasure? Ah, uh, uh, I, I suppose I did, but uh, just so you know, it's not really any of your business. Everything that happens in Tasman's forest is Tasman's business. What? What do you mean, your forest? Ha <laughs> ha, that's a good joke. If you're out here looking for treasure, then I just need you to do one thing. Bring me a piece of it. 
I know everything that goes on around here. You got some nerve, buddy. I'll have you know that treasure is all ours. Aha. But is the treasure still even there? Well, it might be, but it isn't for you. <sighs> if you don't want to do things the right way, we'll do it my way. So come on and tell me all about this treasure and where to look for it. Hey, Melky. greater crime than breaking up a duel. You silly fools should have known better. We shall continue this duel. But first, let us deal with these insolent creatures, my dear sir. Uh, maybe, uh, uh, maybe we can all sit down and discuss this, huh? Or, or something like that. Yes, we shall teach them. A worthy lesson, indeed. Get ready. Mike, please do something. Uh, I have an idea. How about I give you Milky? <laughs> He's quiet. He's very nice. What? <laughs> He's a sweet kid. You'll love him. Yes, very nice. <laughs> hey, don't stand around. Let's go. Never in my life have I been dropped to the ground twice in the very same day. If you ask me, we shouldn't tell anyone about this most humiliating episode. What do you say? <laughs> huh? You see that? Do you see how great I am? Without me, you'd have been done for. Now you two really must bring me a share of that treasure. Uh, Spike, uh, let's just do it. Uh, our buddy Tasman here is strong and agile, huh? Uh, he can protect us. Uh-huh. And then what's next? You're gonna want us to bring him our treasure? Don't be afraid, brothers. We'll divide it up evenly. Well, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, if you think that would be fair, I mean... Spike, what do you mean? Well, I happen to know where you can find that crazy bird, your friend. It's a deal! Great. Now tell me all about this treasure. Well, we'll just show you. Uh-huh, we'll show you. <laughs> Leo, I really don't get it. Tell me, why do we need so much food? Well, if we're going to be leaving Australia, Tig, we don't know how long we'll have to be flying across the ocean. Okay, Leo, you're right. We need to hurry. The monkey's treasure might very well be in danger. Kuba? Hey, Kuba! Get out you of see? Do you get it now? Uh-huh. So we follow them and then nab the treasure. We'll snatch it right out from under their noses. <laughs> but where is your flying ship? Well, you see, you said you knew where to find Philin. One, two, and pull! <laughs> oh, be careful. Take it easy with my feathers. Hoot, hoot. Pull harder, pull harder! Do a better job this time! Come on, help us! Don't just stand there! Yeah! Come help us! <laughs> I am helping you! Helping you keep a rhythm! One, two, and pull! Hey, why'd you stop? Go on, get back to work! Whoa! <laughs> Lily, I 
I've been thinking. Since you're the captain, how about making me your first mate? <laughs> Lily, you should pick me instead. <laughs> you, Tig? But you're afraid of heights. Well, maybe I am. But I'll be careful. And anyway, Leo, don't forget, you're the one who's always falling over and things like that. Well, I'm more fun. If anyone here should be the first mate, it should be me. Yeah, I agree. However, I'm the first first mate. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, whenever I'm homesick, I just take a look at our boys. They'll never, ever change. <laughs> I wonder where Spike and his brother are right now. Yeah. <sighs> Hoot. Hoot. Follow that ship, you bird. Hoot? Hoot. Stop, stop, stop! Who do you think you're ordering around? Oh, yeah, I forgot. From now on, I'll be the one in charge. And whoever doesn't like it can go ahead and jump off. Farewell, Australia! Woo! <laughs> the Mysterious Guest I'm telling you, there's no way you can do it. You're a leopard. And leopards don't fly. But that's only because leopards don't have any wings. Or at least, not before today. Leo, what exactly do you need those wings for? What do you mean, what for? Come on, let's fly with the eagles. We'll be able to see the whole taiga. Aw, oh, Tig, come along with me. No, 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 no. I already flew with the eagles once before. That was plenty. If you say so, I'm going to fly. <laughs> Woo! You see, I told you so. Leopards don't fly. Maybe my wings are a little too small. I need some bigger leaves. Leo, stop picking leaves, would you? Let's just go and play. Tig. You go. I'll go later. All right. Come and play after you're done flying. <laughs> My feathered friend. Wow. Would you look at that? Tig! Tig! Wait up! Oh, Leo! Did you fly already? Tig! Guess what I saw? Just now, in the sky, it was huge, with big wings. Was it an owl? No, it wasn't an owl. No way. It was this big thing that was flying and made of wood, and it landed just over there. <laughs> You're kidding me. You saw a wooden bird? You're too much, Leo. You spend too much time daydreaming about flying. You don't believe me? Okay, fine. I'll go and find it all by myself. Wow! There it is! The wooden bird! Yeah! This is definitely much better than leaves. Interesting. I wonder who made it. Whoa! Oh, and what's this? Footprints? They're so weird! Whose are they? What's this? What's this I smell now? It smells like a leopard cub. Hmm, and something else. Ah, something else new. Something that smells truly delicious. Tig, hurry up already. Come on, it's my turn now. Uh-huh, hold on, just a little more. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> Tig, <sighs> you've been on the swing forever. We want to turn. There you are. I have something to tell you all. You'll never guess what I saw. A big bird made out of wood. It was gigantically huge. It was flying in the hold sky. Hold on, hold on. A giant flying bird made of wood. Ugh. Wait. 
Leo saw that as well, but I didn't believe him. Really? Where's Leo anyway? He went to the swamp to look for that big flying thing. He said that it went over there. In the swamp? Maba just told me that he was in the swamp and he saw the wolf. The wolf? Leo's there all by himself. Hurry, let's run. We have to warn Leo. Leo, Leo, wait. <laughs> hey, <gasps> hi there. <gasps> oh, that was awesome. What a big jump. Who are you? Uh, what do you want from me? Well, nothing. I'm Leo. I just saw your thing with wings flying in the sky. Why were you crying? I wasn't crying, okay? <laughs> we, monkeys of the Guardian tribe, never ever cry. Hmm, who do we have here? Hmm. Oh, a little, little animal. Something that smells very appetizing. If it isn't my old friend, that's meeting you here. Ah. Hurry, run! Ah. You're not getting away this time. Oh. Ah. This way, jump up here! Ah. What's wrong? Can't you climb up? <laughs> Maybe not, but I can chew. So, you mean that chubby boar, the tasty weasel, the lynx, and the tiger cub? <gasps> ah. ah, that's excellent news. Oh no! Tig! Mila! Uh, do you think your friends can scare him off? We'll have to warn them! Yara! Kuba! Stay far away <laughs> from there! <laughs> you louder leopard cub! Then they'll get here even faster. <laughs> what do we do? I'll go and warn them. By the way, my name is Lily. <laughs> oh, uh? no matter. She probably won't taste good anyway. <sighs> but I won't let this leopard cub get away from me. Uh. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> This is it! It's the big wooden bird! That's the big thingamajig. But where's Leo? Well, maybe whoever flew this thing was the one who captured him. <laughs> ah! Okay, come clean. Where did you take Leo? Um, um... Give up! You're going to break a tooth! They say that eating a leopard is very bad luck. Whoever eats one loses all his fur. Huh? It's true. It's better to be hungry than bald. Ah! 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 Hold on, ah! Leo. Huh? We're coming. Uh. Ah! Uh, look, Tim. We're flying. Leo, hop on. Sorry, I should have believed you when you told me. It's okay. What matters is that we're flying! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay then, so tell us, Lily, how did you end up in our forest? Uh, I sort of made a mistake. Since ancient times, our tribe of monkeys have guarded the treasure of the jungle. But one day, someone started hunting the treasure, and they almost stole it. So my father, the Monkey King, decided to hide the treasure of the jungle in a secret place, on an island along a raging river. The only way you could get there is by flying over. And so, my father built a big flying ship. And
and die? <sighs> I really wanted to try it out. So one night, when everyone was asleep, I climbed in and took off. I just wanted to try it out. But then, there was a huge hurricane. The wind swept me up and carried me along for days. It only just died down today, but I had to find a place where I could land the flying ship because I couldn't turn it around by myself. And now all because of me, my home is in danger. <laughs> and so is the treasure. It's all my fault. <laughs> oh, don't be sad, dear little monkey. I think that I know a way to get you to your home. Really? Which way do I need to go? I've heard it said that the tribe of the little monkeys reside far, oh, so far to the south. You would have to fly for several days, so the morning sun is always shining down on you. As long as you travel with true friends, you will be safe, no matter where your journey takes you. But where am I supposed to find true friends? <sighs> Who's going to want to fly with me? We'll fly with you, won't we, guys? Yeah, we'll go. let's go. Listen, Lily, what kind of treasure is this treasure? It's a secret. Only the tribal elders know what it is. The only thing I know is that it supposedly works miracles. It could work miracles for me. That treasure's gonna be mine. We gotta get over there. Do you hear me? We gotta go. Before the spots and stripes get it, we gotta get over there. Spike, but tell me, how are we gonna do that? How do you think? By flying! <laughs> <laughs> the funny cassowary. My turn! <laughs> Scaredy cat! <laughs> it's my turn! I won! I won! <laughs> One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Lily, be careful. You should sit down. You're going to fall off. I can't sit down. Not until I finish my stretches. Okay, I get it. I enjoy stretching too. And one, and... Uh, whoa! Ah! Whoa! Lily! Lily! Who fell down from the sky? How interesting! Who are you? Stay away from me! How did I get here? <laughs> if I stay away from you, then how will I do this? Huh? 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm Cass, and this is Kalunda. He's a master of the pipe and drums. <laughs> I'm Lily. Thanks for your help. <laughs> hey, do you live here? Huh? This forest is our magnificent home! Home sweet home! <laughs> Can you please tell me where the highest spot is around here? I really need to find it. <laughs> oh, it's not far from here. We'll take you there! <laughs> uh, you know, Kalunda and I were just getting ready to have some lunch. <laughs> is it okay if we eat something first? Huh? That sounds good. I'm always ready to eat. <laughs> uh, so what do you eat here? I don't see anything that looks good to snack on. Follow us, my little friend. We know how to find the best food. Kalunda! <coughs> there is nothing better than going along, strolling the forest while singing a song. <coughs> if you sing a duo with a good friend all around will hear that great sound. Come on and sing now. Feel free to go chance. Sing and do it round. Meanwhile you dance. Come on, don't be sound. You can join in our fun. Look! Look at that!
But who's that with him? Hey! <laughs> oh, but such rhythm! What a dancer! Come see our troupe, Lily! Oh, may I? As if you have to ask! Come along, <laughs> there's some food! <laughs> Help yourself. You deserve it. Go ah. right ahead. Well, well. Once again, that clown is embarrassing our proud family and singing his stupid songs for an audience. So unacceptable. Ah. And all those ridiculous dances of his. Utterly disgusting. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. And he has the nerve to go and laugh at us. Ah. Actually, only at you and your butterfly. Get on and get out of our forest. But that, that isn't fair. You can't kick out Pass. He's just like you two. <laughs> We're birds of honor. If Cass wants to stay, then let him show that he's a dignified cassowary. But how can he do that? <laughs> By beating one of them in a traditional cassowary competition. <laughs> and if you win, you can stay. Otherwise, you have to leave and stop embarrassing all of us. And what happens if you lose? Us? <laughs> <laughs> Lily, they both practice every single day. Well, if you lose, you have to dance with Cass. You want us proud cassowaries to jump around like silly birdies? <laughs> Not going to happen. That joker doesn't stand a chance. Well, even so, I'm still going to try. It'll be good to see if these cassowaries can dance to my friend Kalunda's pipe and drum music. <laughs> I declare that the match will take place at the sacred ficus tree, right? Lily! Lily! Lily, hello! Hello! Lily, answer me! Ugh. Maybe we should land? But where? There's no spot to land around here. It's full of trees. <sighs> Yara, let's fly a little bit lower. Mm-hmm. Okay. We are gathered here today to settle the issue of whether Cass is worthy of being called a cassowary. <laughs> <laughs> now, legend has it that many, many years ago, there was no peace to be found in our forest. There were many arguments and many fights. Some fought over the watering hole. Others were to sleep. And others were because they could not share their food. And the fighting just wouldn't seem to end. The wisest inhabitant of the forest, a cassowary as legend has it, asked the forest to become a fair judge for all the animals in the area. And the forest responded to the cassowary's request. In the blink of an eye, a sacred ficus sprung up from the earth. It was a wise old tree that could always tell a truth from a lie. With its strong branches, it could determine without fail who was right and who was guilty. And then peace proceeded to reign over the forest. Enough legends! That's nothing but an old wives' tale. Come on, let's get down to business and kick this buffoon out of the forest already. Well, in that case, then may the great and always fair match of the cassowaries begin. to throw you out of our forest once and for all. Hey, now. This is my forest, too. Oh. Cass, come on. You can do it. It's almost like dancing. Come on, dance away. Huh? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, no. <laughs> what? 
See who the real cassowary is around here. <laughs> ah, according to our rules, Cass must leave the forest at once. But that's not fair. I was tripped up. It sounds to me like someone is a sore loser. Did anyone see you get tripped up? Hmm. You see, no one saw anything at all. You're nothing but a clown. And a liar, too! I saw him trip. And if you don't believe me, then let's ask the sacred ficus. It'll tell mm. us who's lying. <laughs> the ficus? That's nothing but a legend, you dumb little animal. Come on! Did you? Really trip him up. I'll have you know that singing and dancing is better than lying in order to win. I, 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 I didn't want to. I, I was, I was wrong. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. <laughs> Cass, you are welcome to stay with us. I think that maybe you're forgetting about one more rule, aren't you? Where's Lily? Lily! Ugh. Lily, hello! This is all my fault. <gasps> hey, guys! Look over there! There she is! Lily! Hooray! Lily! <laughs> all right! <laughs> hey, I have to admit, you're really good at this. I think I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> Off with the feathered ones. See what all the buzz is about. You stop your chittering right away. We can't get no sleep. Shoot, shoot. Pipe down, you hear me? Who's flopping their trap this early in the morning? They, they did, did it. it. Quiet. Stop yapping. Hey, you. Seems to me like it's you who's yapping here. And the birds are singing. No one can sing this nice in the whole forest. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. Shoe feather freaks get moving. Your presence here with disapproving. Messing with my sleep, fool. Well, I say shoe. Sing now, birdie, sing the song. Sing about the thing you won't. Forest dwellers need to hear just how lovely you can sing. Shoe feathered one shoe. This is our forest, not yours. You disturb our sleep, so once again, shoo! Birdies, don't you be afraid. Just get comfy in your nest. We've been waiting for so long just to listen to your song. This is our forest, ours only. Better ones need to go! Songs of joy, spring is here. We love singing, can't you sing? Sing and whistle to a dance. You'll bring spring into our land. Forest flowers <laughs> need to hear just how lovely you can sing. This is our forest, not yours! You disturb our sleep, so shoot now! This forest is not all yours, so stop being so bossy! Leave our feathered neighbors alone! Well, how about this, huh? And this! What are you doing? Stop it right now! <laughs> I'm the boss around here, you all got that? Is that right? Well, you're not the boss of me! Yeah? <laughs> we run this forest. You all got that? I don't think so. Uh -oh. 
Come on, y'all. Got nothing on us. <laughs> Take this, you striped wool sack. What? I'm going to show you. <laughs> Wait, I have no time for you right now. Leo, check your six. Watch out. Ooh. Ah, oh, stop it. <laughs> Cut it out right now. Stop <laughs> leaving. <laughs> the birds are leaving. <laughs> Can we have a time out? <laughs> What's this? You give up? Now you know who's the boss around here. Not you. You just wait and see. Everyone, get back to the base. It's time to draw up our battle plan. Yara, you wait over here. Mila, you run over here and draw them into a trap. <laughs> Those? No! No, they can't be! My, my mom told me... Where did me they come from? That they, that they sucked the blood out of everyone! Oh, no! How terrible! What do we do? Let's run to Mappa. He must know. going to have to stay in here forever? Why forever? In winter, the squeaky mosquitoes go to sleep. Mappa Pandiga, what sort of squeakers are these anyway? And what are these mosquitoes? Good oh boy. My great-grandfather told this story to my grandfather. One day, the spirit of the tiger's own brother, Amber, was visiting him. But Amber was so evil that the animals of the tiger didn't want anything to do with him. It made Amber very angry. So he made up his mind to punish the animals. He summoned swarms of mosquitoes, squeaky mosquitoes, for animals had nowhere to hide. They went to complain to the kind spirit of the tiger. The spirit of the tiger asked Tiger to deal with the mosquitoes. <laughs> tiger couldn't do a thing. The squeaky mosquitoes were too small and too fast. Then the spirit of the tiger sent leopard to fight them. Whoa. And then wolf. But they returned empty-handed. Then a little birdie flew to him and said, can I try? The spirit of the tiger agreed. You can, my friend. The birdie unleashed a mellifluous song, summoning the birds. Answering the boisterous call, the birds filled the sky, their wings flapped with vigor, and their beaks snapped with thunderous might. Not a day passed when the mosquitoes disappeared. The squeaking mosquitoes were gone. I know what we need to do. We gotta get all those birds back to the forest. I just don't know how we're gonna do it. We hurt them really bad. So that explains why there's so many mosquitoes in the tiger. <gasps> okay, what did you guys do to the birds? Well, we first tried to defend them from the martins. We really stuck it to them and made things much worse. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> 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 oh. The spirit of 
the tiger come to us oh come to us spirit of the tiger and help us help us lest the tiger dry up and become a desert go on go on oh the great spirit of the tiger Please help us to bring back the birds to our forest. We'll always treat them well and never harm them. And we will protect them with our lives. And I beg you, the great spirit of the tiger, please, please. I miss hearing them sing so much. We will cherish each one of them. We'll never take them for granted. sense now. The mosquitoes are scared of the birds. Build your nest. Go on, build them. The best spots are right here, next to our home, our hollow. Here, here, and over here. Sing now, birdies, sing the song. Sing out loud, let's sing along. Forest dwellers need to hear just how lovely you can sing. Birdies, don't you be afraid. Just get comfy in your nest. We've been waiting for so long. Just to It's okay, Tig. Let her play. And we'll get Martik on board. That's him in the grass. Night has fallen, but there's a noise. Now, old cedar, raise your voice. Martik, come join us. No, no can do. I've got pine cones to collect here. Why do you need so many, Martik? Well, it's for an important task. <sighs> Follow me, I'll show you. That's where a cedar pine grew. It burnt down. The spruce was here. Also burnt down. Yeah, the red deer spared no one. And this is my home tree. Well, it was. 
lullaby that our tree sang to me. This tree sang it? <laughs> it's true. I heard it in the rustle of the leaves. Martique, what do you need the pine cones for? What do you mean? For the seeds. I'll collect a big pile of them. Then I'll plant them, and our forest will grow big again. Then you should have said so. And you really shouldn't be making up singing trees. Cuba, go on then. Get digging. We're planting a forest. Tig, wait. Do you know how long it will take them to grow? A century. There must be some faster way to do it. No, children. I don't know of a faster way. But I do know one legend. That was a long time ago. The tiger was visited by an enormous red deer and set the whole forest ablaze. The fire was so strong that even the spirit of the tiger himself got scared. The spirit hid in the last cone on the very top of the tallest cedar tree. The cedar started reaching for the sky to save the spirit of the tiger. The red deer couldn't reach the cone, and he retreated. The cedar opened the cone. Its seeds were scattered, and wherever they hit the ground, a forest started to grow really fast. Because that cone had the magic power of the spirit of the tiger. Since then, the cedar has been here. They call it the Great Cedar because it saved the tiger. That's the story, kids. Wow, Mapa Pandiga, I thought it was called Great because it was really big. But as it turns out, it saved all of the tiger. Hmm. We must find a way to get to the highest cone. What if it's a magic one? Let's just plant regular seeds here. Tig is scared. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm not scared. Tig, come on. We'll climb it somehow. That's what we have claws for. Huh? It might get windy. Uh, what we should do is get the cone by throwing a stone. Hey, guys, up there, look. <laughs> Not far now. It's magic. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> what do we do next, Leo? We'll scatter the seeds around from the top of the very tallest tree, like in the legend. 
That way, the seeds will be spread far and wide. The tallest tree here is my home tree. because he doesn't want us to plant the magic cone's magic seeds. What do we do? Make it leave. Take that! And that! And no. There. Against such a big, strong monster, we don't stand a chance. But I've got a plan. Listen. Hey, monster! Look what I've got. It's a magic pine cone. If you want it, come and get it! <laughs> What? It's not magic. <laughs> and the magic cone goes to Martique. Martique, go on. <sighs> it's too high. Martique, be careful. <gasps> Someone's flying on a wing Mighty forest sprite Who won't scare at night Magic dreamland here awaits Don't be scared! It's the tree spirit! It's calling you with grace Did no one hear that? Listen, that's... We'll show you the pretty world. It's his lullaby. It is full of magic goods. It's all true. It's a singing tree. It's so beautiful. Hooray! Wow, beautiful. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> we did it, home tree. <laughs> the forest is alive again already. Yup, a miracle. <laughs> For all miracles are done by the power of love. And if you have a magical pine cone, that also helps. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>